everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we have shifted planets since the last episode, made a few sea bills because we needed to effect some repairs, and I've made some changes to the mechs. The Nodachi has been changed quite a bit. I stripped off most of the melee stuff off that because it really wasn't working out. And I decided, if we go to the engineering, or sorry, mech bay here real quick, decided to make a few changes to the mechs. The Victor I'm leaving as is, the thought was to put this guy as a melee mech, but since it's got the restricted upper arm actuator here for some reason, we can't really get two good wep uh, melee weapon systems in each arm, or one for each arm, I mean. So my thought was to switch it to the Mjolnir, which is what I did. So what I did is I took all the stuff from the Mjolnir, and we put it on the Orion here. So let's have a look real quick. Arms look pretty cool now. So the Orion basically has got weapon mounts in each arm, so plus three to hit. And we've got PP two PPCs in each arm. It's pretty much the same layout as it was before, engine core 200 and stuff. I want to put a light engine here in here eventually, but the, it's cost prohibitive right now. It's like over a million C bills. So if we go check a, take a look real quick, don't think it'll fit right now. Oh yeah, it will. But still, it's like we get we'll get a couple of extra tons, but it's like 1.3 million to be able to do that. So just gonna leave it out for now. We'll eventually look for a Clan XL engine to drop in here, but don't have that right now. So we've got the three TTS uh, plus energy in here, uh, C3 slave. So when we get our three C3 master up and running, we'll have that for the lance. And rather than the pirate TC, which we had in here before, I put in the enhanced imaging cockpit, the clan one, which reduces our damage taken by 15% and adds plus 10% weapon damage. And uh, we have picked up a PPC capacitor in one of the off missions that I was doing. Um, so we added that as well. So now we've got plus 25% PPC damage on this thing. Now, unfortunately, um, the heat sinking right now, it says 81 over 76. I don't think that's actually the case. I think it's, I think we're actually overheat. Not 100% sure, but we'll run it and see how it works. Uh, I tried to figure it out in my head and it came out to being like 18 or 20 heat over. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so that's the, that's the uh, sorry, that's the Orion. And then the Mjolnir uh, is now our new melee mech. So let's have a look at that. And this one really lends itself to being a great melee mech. It has lower arm actuators on both sides for claws, uh, talons in the legs, uh, snubnose PPC. I'm hoping this is considered a PPC for the sake of damage because the Mjolnir gets a bonus damage to the PPC. It says 70. We'll know if it does 75 damage, if it's actually got the bonus or not. And we picked up a T-Semp cannon as well in one of the off missions. Um, that is not obviously not on camera, but so we put that in this arm as well. Uh, we've got the mask system left in here, so it can go really fast. 260 engine core, so we'll, it's not as fast um, uh, as, say, as the Nodachi was, but it's pretty fast. And then the advanced uh, missile AMS to give us all defense for... Uh, uh, from missiles from uh, missile attacks and re reduced damage and everything so that should help out plus the c3 slave and ss and so on so i did add the melee weapons in the correct order talons first and then the claws so we should be at proper damage when we get into battle um, these things are actually really great with the plus 10 uh, base melee damage and plus 70 percent uh, melee, melee damage as well so We've got plus 40, or sorry, plus 40 damage, and then plus another 140% damage. So it should be pretty good overall. We'll, we'll find out. We were hitting 165 with the uh, Wolverine, 162 with the um, uh, Nodachi, and then hopefully we'll, this, this guy will be hitting around 180, 200, somewhere around there, but we'll see. Um, so let's go back. And then the Nodachi, which is still actually in repairs right now. I didn't want to wait because it's going to come after the uh, financial report. Um, I want to get into a mission here real quick in a second. But this guy here, basically, um, I pulled off all of the melee additions, put the TSMs back in this thing. Um, it's actually running four SRMs, a pair of SRM6s and a pair of SRM4s right now. I don't have any specialty ammo, but it is running those SRMs. And um, it's also got um, an ER, uh, Clan ER large laser in the arm. Um, so, yeah, and it's and it's got a big engine in it too. So it's basically going to move in relatively quickly. 
uh, firing the SRMs, and then once it gets close, it's going to use the uh, hatchet. Now, it's not going to do as much damage as it was before, but still, it's a nice uh, close-in damage boat. And we put the Pirate TTS in this thing, um, so it's going to be super accurate with the uh, missile launchers on it. So, yeah, that's how that kind of worked out. Um, but let's just jump into a battle real quick. Uh, we've moved planets. Um, let me go to the star map real quick. We just jumped over here to a water world. Um, it's a clan ghost bear world. We don't have... It's a, I went for two and a half skull because I, I want to test the lance out in a relatively... Um, I don't want to say easy, but relatively safer mission. Uh, we still want to go to three and a half, four skulls against the clans, but... We want to make sure we're able to do that with the mechs that we have so I don't, I don't want any surprises so let's just go into contracts and there is um where is it here this one here broken chain we're going to take this guy destroy base is pretty simple it's ghost barian uh base so we're going to take this one first just to get up against the clans um and hopefully get some good salvage it's 521 so really hoping for that going to go full salvage since we're okay for our financial report and accept. Now let's te test our lance out in a safe situation. So let's pull out uh, which catapult? This is the one with the MMLs and the PPC triple plus. So let's pull out this guy. Uh, we're going to flush out this lance. I was, I've been running those for off missions so that they can get their experience up. So let's get Steve in. Let's get Hellcat and a Rhino and Rocky. The Victor will move up to Rhino. Uh, Mjolnir is going down to Rocky. And our Orion will go to Steve. And I think that'll be it. Let's run it like this and see how we do. All right, here we go. Serious well-armed resistance. Well, we'll see. Three max in a vehicle. Time to earn our money. Let's do this. What's up, so the Mjolnir, yeah, it's hitting 185. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Copy that. It's 15 tons more than the Wolverine, so not too bad. We might be able to pick up some more stuff that'll help it out. And at least it's got some good speed on it. Unlike the Orion. But the Orion doesn't need to be fast. So I'm hoping for a Clan XL engine. I really want to be able to add a little bit more to that uh, Orion. And this catapult's our second catapult. Now I'm not sure if I showed you the load on this, guys. But it's got two MML 9s and a PPC Triple uh, Plus. It's the same PPCs that we're running on the Orion right now. So this, the MML is a direct or indirect fire, um, full armor. So it's actually not a bad loadout. I'm receiving you. Um, definitely has the range and the punch once it gets relatively close. So let's move into not turret range, like or not turret uh, visual, but let's move into here. Yeah, we're still adding, having the problem with the laggy laggy with these missions. So, Epona, Cougar, Anova, and a Hunchback. This is probably an LRM turret. Yeah, it's probably an LRM turret back there. Alright, let's take out the Epona first. I think we should probably be able to sp splash this guy. Ah, not bad. So as you can see, that catapult is actually not bad, punchy-wise. And we got the, uh, leave the T-Sam pop, just fire the snub nose. Well, we might as well fire them both, it's not really har harming us in any way. Yeah, we neutralized that island really well. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage. They had some elementals on this island we had to take care of. So I want to see what the damage from the uh, PPCs for the Orion is going to be now. Ah, that guy's got 
just as good of, as of aim as the uh, mule near here. All right, Rhino, let's get up here. Um, let's get direct fire on the opponent. Double time. Let's go. If I'm, if I remember correctly, I think the opponent's like LRM boat. Be nice to be able to pick up some clan LRMs from this. Oh, we missed again with that damn thunderbolt. So 82 damage, base damage on this thing. Um, I'm gonna fire on the hunchback second. One, if we hit this side, we won't kill it. But if we hit it anywhere else, this thing will die. So we're gonna multi-target uh, one to A, everything else to B. Now it's nice too that we have everything because we have everything in the arms now. I don't, I don't have the the two different chances to hit everything's all the same. Oh, it wasn't enough to kill him, really. I bet you we hit the other side. We did. We totally hit the other side. Are you kidding me? It's my friggin' luck, man. Sorry, I messed up with the camera again, guys. The thing is, I usually right-click to deselect the, the uh, thing up here, and it moves when I right-click, so it just screws the camera up on these sluggish maps. Thirty-four. Wonder if it's a rifle version. Come on. Really? Must be a different version of the opponent than I'm than I thought. Okay, MML turret. Wow. Okay. God damn it. Come on, turret back, or the controls back here. Here we go. Try not to uh, click on anything here. Alright, we don't have the ability to punch anything yet, but we can get in a little closer. See if we can kill this opponent. Then we don't have to waste the guns from our other guys on it. Bing! There we go. Firing. Nice. So that was 80 da damage with the uh, snub nose. It's the Ray of Nova. Not gonna save you, buddy. Okay, Hellcat. Let's fire on this hunchback. He's giving us his torso, it looks like. And we hit the other side. No biggie. Dump everything on this side and fire. Okay, it's got full clan gear on it. Comes the cougar. Mm hmm. All right, Rhino. Let's move it up. Get in the water.
Bing. All right, let's see if we can finish this guy up. Maybe not finish him up, but do some heavy damage. Or finish him up. Insult to injury. Enemy down. Okay, Speev. Uh, let's get in the open. Easier chance to hit. Yeah, we're still, we're still working on good chances to hit. And, yeah, you know the heat sinking is better than the last mech. Um, the Mjolnir on a planet like this would be firing twice. But we're not we're not in the water, right? We're outside the water? Yeah. So the heat sinking is better. It's a lot of medium pulses of machine guns. Uh, yeah, fire everything on this guy. Okay. Not what I wanted. We're losing the pulse lasers, but whatever. VSPL? Didn't think the clans had VSPL lasers. Stolen from the inner sphere, maybe? Plink, plink. So, our Mjolnir has got a uh, nasty ECM on it. So, uh, it can um, block these guys' signal. Gonna get in here for a melee attack and 99% chance to hit. Let's just move in and do it. 185 damage. Oh, we got reinforcements. And I missed the attack. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, he's dead. I don't know what we're up against over there. Most likely the Mjolnir can probably kill all of them, but we'll see. What do we got here? Anoba E, Incubus 30 tons, Kit Fox, and a Elacerator. Maybe not. Um, do we want to push the base? I think we want to kill a couple of those turrets. Nah, I got a feeling these guys are all going to try and shoot for Steve here. Let's just move back here. Let's get a quick shot on this guy. I am going to Warlord at this moment. Let's get our heat back so we can start fresh and blast this guy. Welcome to the jungle, Bubba. Right torso gone. Let's get you on that turret. At full throttle. See if you can kill this turret. Probably not, but we're going to take a shot at 180. Yeah, we're going to miss with the PPC, but that's fine. Oh no, we hit. Okay. Oh no, we got a target right here. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Looks good. Yeah, man. One left turret. So the other thing I like about the Mjolnir too is I can move forward and stand next to the turrets and fire on them with my point with my uh, point defense or uh, support weapons. Whereas we couldn't use that uh, the hatchet on the uh, don't no dachi. You don't have the ability to melee this guy, eh? Let's move. 
120. Two LRM twenties, wow. Well, that Nova's not gone, Steve. How about we remove him from the battle? Let's do that. Enemy yeah, like in the Orion loadout. The Mjolnir would be a bit better with the uh, PVC capacitor and the helmet. We'd get an extra, like, 5 damage before we'd get an extra 25%. So it'd be marginally better, but I think overall the... Uh, Loadout on the uh, Orion is probably a little better. The extra five tons is helping us a bit here. I'm here. Uh, let's move in. Uh, like so. Confirmed. And let's see if we can finish this turret off. Yeah, not quite. Thanks for showing up. Yes, Commander. So I gotta decide where I'm gonna put the C3 Master, which mech that's gonna end up being. On it. So let's go this route. Roger that. Nice. Nice! Nice! Incubus. Not a good place to be, buddy. Basically presenting himself and it's like, please kill me. Okay, nice shooting. But I do only have one Chevron on their vision, so... That's the other thing about this, uh, Ryan. I don't really have um, ECM in there yet. Um, so that's kind of a feeling. I kind of need to get that in there. Okay. What's up, boss? Ah, uh, melee range now. Here it comes, folks. And down he goes. Oh, dude, I'm going to be angry in a minute. Okay, who's next? Incubus. You're barely even moving? Really? You're just asking for death, dude. Asking for death. Reporting minimal damage. Ready for orders. Okay, I gotta move here. Heading out. Not very far. See if we can finish this uh, turret up back there. Come on. Ah. 74% chance to hit. Couldn't get it. Alright, Speev. Um, sure. Pair of Ultra 5s, huh? That'll be X5. Well, yeah. Let's see if we can get rid of these Ultra 5s.
Huh. They're barely using any of their weapons. Huh. See what this punk does. He's so tiny. Yeah, pretty easy to hit. Definitely need some kind of ECM or something on there. Let's see if we can do get that turret this way. Nice. That turret is gone. It is gone. Keeping our heat down. Fire everything on this guy. Shredded. Enemy destroyed. Waiting for orders. Um. Hmm. Roger. Let's do this. Okay. Standing by. Rhino. Roger. That guy and uh, this guy. Fire. Firing on multiple enemies. Nice shooting, man. Okay, that guy's gone. And that guy's gone. So this was a worth, well worth uh, taking. Um, I was worried they weren't going to get reinforcements there for a bit, but uh, I'm kind of glad they did come. Hey man, you're doing our base destruction for us, dude. Thanks. Receiving you. Let's attack from the side we've already destroyed. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Commander. One left. Affirmative. Yeah, I might as well increase my damage while I can. Firing. Wow. Okay, buildings, that's it. So really the victor, I think, it's, it needs something. I mean, it's the damage is adequate. Don't think it's as specialized as the rest of these guys, but um, yeah, not bad, I guess. Oh, you connected just fine. Finish it up, please. Roger that. All right, let's get ready to go home. So up to Steve. Just need two hits here, I think. Full let's do this. Firing. Nicely done. All right. Payment increased by 45%.
69000 which is what <laughs> is really nothing, but uh, still, it's enough to cover our drop costs and our repairs, which is good. And Ghost Bear doesn't completely hate us right now. Um, we're going to do some missions for them in the future here, so we should be uh, in their good books in a minute. All right, so that's not bad at all. Um, Mjolnir took a little bit of damage here, but not too bad. And the Orion took a bunch because we weren't moving very fast, and we need an ECM in this thing really badly. Um, but we'll worry about that shortly once we get some more sea bills. Okay, so lots of hunchback parts, Nova parts. Um, well, let's have a look at what else we've got. Clan ER mediums, which aren't bad. HA20 Gauss rifle, large clan pulse, LRM20 clan. Uh, Rotary 5 Clan, uh, Ultra 5 Clan, Active, look at this, Advanced Cockpit, Breaching Shot, plus 1 Accuracy, minus 5% Weapon Heat generated, 10% Reduced Damage taken. Yeah, I should probably take that. There's so much stuff I want to take. Uh, clan Endo Steel for Space, Extra Light Gyros. Double heat sinks, double heat sink kits, laser AMS. God, these things are awesome too. Um, regular targeting computer, AC5 double loads, Artemis ammo. Ah, oh, man. Well, let's grab. Twenty-five percent damage, less damage from missile attacks for for uh, one ton and four heat. Um, you know we're going to be getting a lot of other stuff in the future. Let's just go this route for now. I mean, Clan Endo Steel will definitely free up a lot of space in some of our mechs, especially the the. Uh, no Dachi, we were running into massive space problems when I was rebuilding that thing. Um, that's a possibility, but we're going to be getting lots of that in the future too. Um, this we can get immediate use out of. This I can definitely find a use for. This we'll be using for sure. Uh, that we shouldn't have a problem finding use. We can find use for all this stuff. So let's just confirm this. So one, two, three, hunchback, two C parts, incubus part, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nova parts. Oh my god, that's awesome. LBX5, two clan ER mediums, clan machine gun. Yeah. Really good, really good. We are surrounded. Wow, that's a lot of fighting going on. 64,000, which is pretty much what we made. So not too bad at all. All right, let's manage our tasks a bit here. Let's get, we can move the mule near down. Let's get the Jager mech and the catapult back because we can pull off another quick mission here before our financial report in six days. Now do we want um, our main pilots? Let's go with the second Lance, why not? Take a contract here, we can take something a little tougher now. Doing it for Ghost Bears and we want to make a little bit of currency here. Let's go up a little bit. Uh, coupe, what's this? Sympath synthetic Plague. Uh oh. Capture base in the highlands. We can do that. Local government, eh? Okay, well, we better make sure this plague doesn't fall into enemy hands. Let's negotiate this sucker out. Going to go this route. I do want to pick up some sea bills. We're hitting our financial report shortly. Um, we're sitting okay as far as finances goes, but just want to make sure we have enough uh, for doing repairs and stuff afterwards. Let's go 416. Uh, I think that's pretty good against just general uh, um, mechs. We shouldn't be encountering anything that was really tough here. So let's take this mission. 
and we'll flush out our main pilots and bring in the second lance led by squire tugs second uh jazz and kerberos so let's do what do we want to do here guys we don't really have any melee mechs we could put the victor at the top since it's not damaged This is just missile. This is overheat. And close range fire support. Uh, let's go with the... Well, yeah, we're going for parts. So let, let's actually just go this route. I think. Yeah, let's go this route. Actually, I'm going to pull Kerberos out. I'm going to bring Saint. And we'll load it up like this, I think. So the A1 is the just the missiles, right? Yeah. So let's go this route. Let's get it done. All right, here we go. We know this base capture mission, no problem. Time to earn our money. Ready for orders. All right, let's move off this way. All in okay, vehicle moving. Orders. Orders. You're technically the scout, so get up and scout, buddy. Uh, Commander? So you probably noticed in the mech bay the Axeman's not there either. Um, it's a 45 tonner. I just dropped it out for now. Um, it's going to end up in the same, same situation as the Nodachi. It's just not going to cut it, I don't think. Right I would rather field the Wolverine with melee, melee parts on it than I would uh, the Axeman. So... Yeah, I just kind of put it away for now. So, Javelin, Jenner, Missile Carrier, and Centaurus. I have no idea what that is. Pew! Let's get that Missile Carrier if we can. MMLs don't have range to the Missile Carrier? Really? Oh, it's pretty far back. Um, let's get in here. Full speed, no shoot. Got it. Oh, we got turrets too. Did not think we would have turrets. Let's get rid of this guy if we can. Ah, that's pretty good armor for being 15 ton, 15 tons there. Um. Um, firing on the Jenner. It's got a lot of lasers, weak, weak armor, so I figure we'll try, try and overheat him and take him down before uh, he gets to actually move here. Should be able to finish him up with this. Maybe not. Definitely taking a lot of damage, though. Screw you! Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. Speed there in the chip. Let's multi-target this. Wow, that's pretty bad. That's a little better. Let's take that. Okay. Ah. Oh, you just wait, you. 
Huh. You just wait. Ah, it's a Thunderbolt carrier. Thunderbolt fives. Now we're gonna about to find out whether they got missile turrets or not. Yep. Commander. Commander. Uh, let's not get in direct line of sight of that friggin' missile turret or the turret back there. I don't know whether it's a missile or not, but. Whatever it is, I don't want him to be shooting me. How much armor does this guy have? That's pretty respectable for like 15 tonner here. Is it 15? I guess it is. Well, let's hit him with everything. Okay, it takes care of that guy. Vehicle press. Yes, Commander. Could pass where those turrets can shoot us. On the move, full speed. Let's finish this guy up if we can. I think I hit something good. All right, he's had it. Come on, javelin, you can do it. He's fleeing. Don't blame you, buddy. Nobody blames you. What's up, Commander? Okay. Full speed it is. Alright, see if we can kill this Thunderbolt carrier. Same target, please. Eesh. Alright, I see what he does. I'm showing minor damage. That was three hits, man. Pretty good shooting. Damage is light. Ah, way to split targets. It's a lot of thunderbolts. Damage minimal. Commander. Okay. See if we can take this guy out. Yeah. I'm happy just for the two hits. Comes that javelin again. Wow, nice shooting, man. This bushwhacker always takes a punishment. That's not bad chances, we'll fire on that guy. Nice. This should do it, I think? Yeah. Okay, good, we needed that guy gone. It's kind of annoying. One more for the trash sheep. Let's get rid of their eyes here. Firing. God, a thunderbolt, man, really? Oh, stop. Just stop. Darius, enough. Does that mean we can't approach the base in any kind of way? Dude. Yeah. OK, 
Okay. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Let's put some shots through this guy's side. And firing. Oh, bye bye. Target neutralized. Receiving you. Okay. Don't need to get close. I think this is the missile turret. And just firing. Roger that. Yeah, Commander. Toot toot. Coordinates received. Tugboat. Raining missiles. Yeah. Yeah. Move Let's see out. if you can hit two. Nice. One less cover. All right, everybody, let's get this done. Something I can do. Yeah, it's right there. I might as well just shoot it. Yeesh, that was terrible. Standing by. Move order received. Cooling off. Spouting off. Yeah, what can I do, you fool? Fifty five percent. Fifty five. I'm going to shoot on this guy just to get it started. Nice. Should be able to kill both those turrets next turn. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Of course, you are. No idea what that was. Something with missiles. Okay, so let's get the whacker in a second. Let's just move up here. Finish up this turret and let's hold off on the ACs. We need the ammo. Oh, not quite enough, eh? What's up, Commander? DJ Jazzy Jeff. Position confirmed. Split fire. And A will take the three lasers or two lasers, and B will take everything else. Engaging multiple targets. Nice. Should be able to kill B here as well. Yep. A little bit of overkill, but I wanted it gone. That turret is gone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you can see us pretty well, eh? Somebody's got an ECM down there. Moving to position. Yeah, not a bad start. Receiving you. Yeah, let's see if we can hit him again. I'm gonna make some trash. Nice. Okay. Thanks for coming out. Raven Raptor. Okay, not worried about either. Let's just hang on to the MMLs for now. It's only five turns of firing, so we can't uh, waste them. Sure. Good to go. 
Okay, just gonna move up to the base, I think. Good to go. Standard maneuver. Waiting for orders. How many rounds have we got left with this thing? Nine, plenty. Let's take a pot shot. Nice. That hit something good. Probably took the arm off. Receiving you. All right, we can put our MMLs on this guy too. Fifty-two, not bad. Nice. So there's two mechs down here we haven't seen yet. Probably a Vindicator, PPC and LRM5. And a Hunchback. The Lermback. They are trying flanking maneuvers, so I will give it to them. There's the Vindicator. Yes, Commander. Got it. 64 with ACs on this guy. And... 70s on this guy, really? Let's fire on him. We can probably overheat him a little better. Uh, let's Warlord this too. And fire. Okay, three hits, so that's going to be a lot of heat. Like 50 probably. What's up, tiny guy? Toot toot. On my way. All weapons are go. Okay. Yeah. What can I do you for? Hmm. All right, let's do this, and then we're going to multi-target and go A, hmm, B, wow. Yeah, I just fired in this guy, I guess. Nice. Enjoy being over there while by your lonesome, buddy. I think we should be able to maybe take this guy out if we get good shots here. Yeah. One left time. Yipper. Okay, moving in. Much to your detriment. Commander. If he's not shut down, he will be in a second. Yeah, firing. Scored a critical hit. Right here. Find out here if he shut down. Coordinates received. Nope. Certainly crippled though. Yep. Tangle 
down. Uh, Commander? Since we don't know where that hunchback is. Yeah, I'm firing. Lost something else there. Yay! Now we can direct fire you. There you are. I wonder if it's possible to art to uh, set this game up so you can just blanket fire a certain hex. Like if you like, for instance, if we couldn't see the hunchback, but we figured he was back there, just put the uh, LRMs and then choose a hex and fire. And if you if you if he's there, you use like a small chance to hit him or something. I mean, it's kind of a waste of ammo, but. If you got the ammo, why not, right? But then if you hit him, you know he's there. Nice. That's like 80 heat. <laughs> Dropped your arms, guy. Waiting for orders. Let's make sure we stay out of that drop zone. Man. Definitely brave, that's for sure. Waters. Firing line. Get some speed up here. All right, three chevrons of evasion, not bad. So we got still, we still have like I think like three NSS systems sitting in our uh, storage. I should start applying it to a lot of these guys. Okay, shut them down, please. Should be able to do that here. Yeah, if he ain't shut down, I'm calling cheating. There you go. Sucks to be you, dude. What's up, Commander? Engaging with time. Here it comes, here it comes. Ah. Target's taking a critical hit. He's dragging his arms around with him here. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Come on, really? Still going? Really? Receiving you. On my way. Let's try for a headshot. Nah. It's overheating though. That hit something good. Commander. Just shoot him. Solid connection on that one. Still standing, eh? Oh, still not enough to kill him. That hit something good. Going down. Good to go. Now, can we shoot both? Huh. 
Huh. I don't think there's a way to get both of them. All right, well, let's just see. Yeah, well. Had to try it. Got him down to one anyway. Target eliminated. Let's see what this guy does. He's a stick. Still got a large laser though. Last hurrah, damn it. Oh no, that oh MMLs are out, that's why. I was gonna say there for a second. Should be in range with the MMLs. There you go. I like them apples. Let's take this base and get out of here. So that was pretty simple. Location confirmed. Standing by. To, took a little bit more damage than I would have liked, but I was playing overconfident again like I like I normally do. No problem. Good to go. That's enough. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, Commander. Taking a protective stance. Something I can do. Alright guys, there we go. Second mission. Mission successful. All right, 20% increase in payment, which is good. Covers our uh, our costs here, no problem. And we didn't take any component damage from what I remember. So we should be pretty clear here, yep. All right, so Hunchback, Jenner Parts, meh. We don't really need any of these guys. Let's have a look down here if there's anything interesting. Yeah, great, Thunderbolt 5s. And just still, I think we're down to one, aren't we? We are. Let's just drop that in for now. Drop the 245 in. Um, wow. Double heat sinks, double heat sink kit. I think we've got a, one of those left. Maybe just a double heat sink then? Not using very many double heat sinks. Half loads. Uh, how much is this worth? 466. Yeah. Let's grab the core. We can just sell it. Make about, what, 55,000 on that or something like that? No, 60,000 somewhere. Somewhere around there. Alright, let's confirm this. So we've got a lot of junk. Nothing really interesting, but some stuff some stuff here to sustain ourselves with. So let's just continue. All right, only weak act, weak, weak activity this time. Not not that bad. Uh, Thirty nine thousand, not too bad at all. So we made some good some good sea bills out that mission. Over five hundred k, which is good. All right, guys. So we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, what I'll do between episodes again is. Um, there's a few low-end contracts here that are worth like a million sea bills, like one and a half skulls. I'll probably pull off like this one, um, maybe noisy neighbors, maybe take the bait. I don't know. These are pretty simple contracts for large sea bill amounts. Um, they kind of be kind of boring on camera, like that last mission was. I think really we're beyond three skull now, three and a half for sure, four, maybe four and a half. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take these lower missions to get some sea bills to work with so we can adjust our mechs slightly. I want to try and get um, uh, either a Clan XL engine or a light engine or something get almost all of my mechs. So that's going to cost a lot of sea bills, like 1.5 million each roughly. Um, so it's going to cost, it's going to mean we got to pull off a lot of these lower missions to be able to get that currency. Um, we're not getting a lot of high ticket items to sell, so we definitely need those. And we're not selling Mac parts, so that's the other thing too, right? So 
we, I'll be pulling these off in the interim then. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll jump probably to a three and a half, four skull planet, uh, somewhere around here, Ghost Bear. And we'll try and take some planetary missions against Clan Ghost Bear uh, and get some more clan stuff and see what see how high we can hit with what we have. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going to end the episode. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for the victors, I'm thinking maybe now that we've got that Rack 5, um, the Clan Rack 5, it's 13 tons. We might be able to rejig the victor slightly. Um, like if we ha if we got the Clan LRM-20, we could drop in with the Ultra 5. I don't know. The Thunderbolt's not bad. Um, the hit rate's really hit and miss with it. But... Um, yeah, we'll have to see how we can see how it goes. I want to really save the LRMs for the catapults, uh, which reminds me, by the way, we should just go to uh, Mech Base real quick here, and I want to get this last catapult repaired. Uh, where are you? Here you are. So let's refit this guy. Let's get it repairing. Drop it in the end, just to get it in queue, ready to go. Uh, let's confirm that. Okay, cool. So that's up and ready to go. Um, so yeah, now when that comes back, we'll have three catapults. I mean, we could make a lance of catapults. That's the other thing too, right? Um, let's bring the meal near up to the top. Let's bring the Victor up. Jagermech. I want the Orion up here. Uh, Orion to the top, yeah. So these four will come back. Um... Something like that, probably. So we'll have these four mechs back in 11 days. Cool. So, yeah, what I'll do is, like I said, I'll pull those missions off, um, make that make those sea bills, we'll jump to a better planet, and, uh, you know, see how things go from there. All right, guys, I'm going to leave the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, if you got any comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.